what is the difference between a wart and a corn and how do they present in the clinical situation? Hi guys, it's Kent here and I'm the podiatrist that works with DocPods and Ergonics. And today we've been asked the question, how do we tell the difference between a wart and a corn because they look, can look quite similar on the foot. And it's a good question and it can actually trip up quite experienced practitioners. Um, but there's a few things we look for as a podiatrist when we're looking to diagnose between a wart and a corn. So a wart is caused by a virus and generally a wart will look more like cauliflower and have a white spongy appearance. So once we cut maybe a little layer of callus off the top, we can see that if it's a white spongy fleshy looking um, uh, little lesion, it will most likely be a wart. Um, you can also sometimes see if we cut it, it will bleed in a really particular way. It'll bleed with these little pinprick um, sort of like as if we've pricked it with a pin you get these little spots of blood that grow through the the, the wart um, now a corn on the other hand is caused by pressure so usually we find these over the bony prominences of your feet so we often get them up around the forefoot over the sides of the toes just anywhere there's pressure so if we imagine we stand on the on the foot on the ground um, the skin gets pinched between the bones and the ground and it causes the skin to harden and thicken. Now unfortunately the harder, thicker skin causes more pressure which causes the skin to harden more, which causes more pressure, which causes the skin to harden more and it just keeps going around in this feedback loop. So eventually what we get, and I've drawn a pretty crude diagram of a corn, um, this is the outside of your foot, so this, this is the skin level here, this is inside, this is outside of you. Uh, so what happens, you get this callus cap form up over the corn uh, and what ha that does, that will actually stick out. So this is the thing you usually feel on the outside of the skin of the rough piece. But the, the issue usually that causes the pain is the, the core of the corn that sticks actually into your foot. Now this is a pretty crude diagram of it, but generally these stick into and come to a point. Um, they can be moon shaped, they can be dome shaped. So they can actually be really quite blunt on the inside, so we can actually just shave them out. But when they're really quite sharp like this one, we have to core that out and actually cut that and remove that out. If it was more dome shaped, we can actually just shave that out. We don't need to core that out and it won't come out in one piece. Um, so if you can imagine you're standing on this and pushing down, all the pressure goes through this little tip. So it'll feel like you've got a very, very sharp stone in your shoe and it'll be very painful. These can happen anywhere you've got skin and anywhere there's pressure. Um, so you can often see them on the plantar surface of the, of the foot, which is the bottom of the foot, over any of the bony prominences. You can sometimes get them around the heels, uh, and they're very, very common around the little toes and in between the toes. Um, and the reason we get them in between the toes is because if we see, if you can see the camera here, this little bone sticks out right here, and it attach, it's just adjacent the other bone that sticks out in the toe. So these will push together and cause pressure. So a corn is caused by pressure, a wart is caused by a virus, and we treat them differently. We debride the corn and then nucleate the corn. Well, with the wart, we need to use like a salicylic acid or we can freeze them or we can cut and stitch them. Um, they're, they're a little bit harder to get rid of uh, is warts. Um, so I hope this helps to clear up a few of the questions we've been having. But if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and I look forward to hearing from you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you need further information on the topics discussed, please follow the links in the description and that will take you to our website where we've got more information on these topics. If you have a specific question that you'd like to ask, please comment in the comments section below and we'll do our best to make a video to address your question. If you have any further comments or questions, you can find us at ergonics.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.